Greetings, dear ones, and welcome to this 222 portal transmission. And it has its peak on the 22nd of February. And the energy, the gateway of this portal opened at the 2nd of February. Uh, and I know that many of you did watch that, that transmission as well where we connected to the Emerald Green Comet who had a message for us and a very powerful activation and the information I share in that video is that the activation will lead up to this portal and what was activated at that point will integrate and will deepen and we will undergo a, a process of transformation during the time between the 2nd of February and the 22nd of February. Uh, and it's, I'm very excited for this one and I know that many of you are as well. And I had so beautiful responses on, the, on the, that particular transmission and the connection with the Green Comet and the message in that one if you don't remember or if you haven't seen uh, that video is uh, the reactivation and the remembrance of our gifts our multidimensional nature us as a spark of divine light that has, that has been that has traveled throughout this universe through different dimensions and are here to fully master our divine light and to be an expression for that light in a human form. Um, so it is a so what we have been undergoing this couple of weeks is a deepening an integration and of our true self in to this human form, allowing divine expression to be birthed through this experience as humans, remembering that we are eternal beings. And <clears throat> so this, in, this, uh, in today's uh, transmission, I will talk about the Alta major, major Chakra, also called the Mouth of God or Goddess. Uh, and I knew when I finished up the last transmission, that this was going to be the topic of today and what, what we will activate and clear today. Um, so the Alta Major Chakra is not, it's, it's called a minor chakra. Uh, I don't know why, because it is a really, it is a powerful one. I think what I get the information is that it has been dormant in a sense uh, and it is now reactivating and it will become it will have a greater influence is what i get so the alta major chakra is uh, connected it's um, located at um, where the skull and the spine meets and on the back uh, of your head and what's interesting about this chakra is that it's while dormant, it is where we connect, where we are plugged in to this third dimensional experience, to, to this matrix that of illusions that makes up the world as we see it. And so what we are doing right now, and especially in the last weeks, if you've been with me since, is the unplugging from these illusions and reactivating divine presence on earth our divine light uh, so this chakra is all about as the mouth of god the portal of god it's higher inspiration it is 
divine wisdom and divine knowing pouring through us when while having this chakra activated is very much connected to our clear senses and especially our inner knowing our divine knowing our clear cognizant uh, where we deeply know where we are deeply connected we don't need to get the answers from outside because we just know what resonates and not what is of a higher frequency of, and what is not what is of truth and what is illusions we learn how to di how to discern and from my <clears throat> on a personal level my journey to reawakening to be a a channel and a bringer of source light is um, has been during this process it has been a reawakening and reactivation of this chakra and uh, for this divine knowing to fl flow through me this connection so I don't need to ser search information I don't need to you know when we are pre rep uh, presented with something in this world I don't need to read about it or um, what is the pro and what is the uh, what is the, the the good things about this and what is the bad things about it it's we can just feel into the frequency and we know because we know we know and this ability to know is our superpower it is this is why we don't need anything outside of us to tell us to to tell us what is true what is illusions what is right what is wrong for us what is in the highest good for us and for humanity and what is not and of course this is not convenient for those in power when we return to this inner knowing uh, and follow that guidance and so you who are here with me are called into be the way showers and be the the bringers of light uh, I mean we all are but to take these steps on a, in a, on a greater scale to allow this expression to be more di um, directed and more clear so during these um, last weeks of integration and clearing all of um, what has been going on is that where we have connected into the illusions, the matrix of illusions where we still agree upon illusions that we see in the world this has been shown to us and has been undergoing a, a phase of, of clearing. So, for example, for me, I have been um, shown where I give, where I, uh, where I do not trust the divine, where I. try to control circumstances in life where I'm not fully just surrender and trust the divine force life force to live itself through me where I in a where I believe I am the one who's in control and I need to control uh, and it has been interesting and of course, many of those uh, things has has have been known to me before. I am aware of them, of course, but it has been brought up on a deeper level for me to clear them. <clears throat> and I'm sure that this has been the case for many of you as well, that you have been challenged in the last weeks and you have been, um, you have be become aware of these uh, illusions you still 
buy into you still are connected to the still feed of your energy and you in return gives it permission to to control you to I mean, not to control but you give away your power to this uh, limiting illusion that that is what it's all about so it is a great awakening to our power to us as sovereign beings who are not who are safe who are the one in charge who have the solutions to all illusions we are the solutions we are the medicine we are the cure our remembrance our returning is the cure so the energy this very much emerald green energy is still so before we move into the transmission, the clearing and the activation of the Alta Major, um, the awakening and the reactivation of the Alta Major is um, a process and uh, humanity as a collective has been under this process for years. Many of us has been uh, under this process, in this process for 20 years. Some have been just waking up. Uh, but it's something that happens uh, not overnight and so what I want to talk about too is the physical symptoms we may experience um, from this chakras reactivation and so many of you may have issues around the neck headache migraine just feel stiffness just or you know pain in the back of your neck uh, tension in your neck, in your shoulders, uh, and it's also connecting, connected to the throat, and um, this is very connected to this, this chakra and its awakening. Uh, for many of us too, we can feel as the Kundalini, as it rise, is rising through our inner channel, it feels like it gets stuck here, and that that creates this tension as well because we are still when we buy into very much fear of this uh, um, the reality the physical reality we think we live in or we do believe is our physic is our reality uh, then we then then the energy won't flow because this is um, for this to soften an awakening, we need to make a conscious choice. We cannot live in illusions at the same time awakening to our truth, our true nature. We need to let go of the illusions because those identities or those realities isn't they cannot coexist so we can live as our true self in this world and this this is how this world will shift but if we buy into the fear of this world into the pain of this world we want we will be disconnected from our true self so this is a conscious choice and as we do this, make this choice and are willing, our willingness is the great yes, is the door opener. Everything that we need for this shift to take place is there for us. All the support, all the love, all the solutions, because we are the solutions. This is what they keep telling me, we are the solutions and when we rediscover who we truly are and when we allow this truth to replace illusions it is as turning on the light the shadows disappear right 
So there is physical uh, symptoms uh, in this process. And this chakra is also very connected to the, our higher heart. So many has lived and are still living the lives from the lower three chakras imbalanced. That, we, that means the fear and the, the feeling of not belonging, uh, living in lack, uh, fear, being unsafe and so on. And this uh, is uh, what, uh, this is from where we take, uh, make our decisions and uh, trying to control life, right? So the opening of this Alta Major is connected to deepening our heart connection. And when we do, when we heal our physical heart, our Anahata Chakra, we are reawakening our higher heart. And it means we live from a place of unconditional love. Not giving and receiving unconditional love, but being unconditional love, being peace, being that spark of divine light. So when we lean into this, the Alta Major is will open and will because it is the opposite of being living in fear, living on the terms of this world, this third, third dimensional experience. So we are then unplugging and allowing the divine to move through us, to give us the instructions we need for our next step to give us the inspiration to show up from a totally different, with a totally different energy and frequency. So it's very connected with this eternal love and this 222 portal is all about the higher heart and the divine love. Okay, there ones, we are ready. And just so Archangel Ga Gabriel is with us with this both Archangel Gabriel and Archangel Raphael and Raphael holds this emerald green ray as well Durukun Ariatan Ashun Uruku The presence of the emerald green comet, the divine feminine returning, so let's see, so just feel into the space behind your head, where your skull meets your spine. So they keep giving me the word unplugging, unplugging, detaching. So uh, us being connected So this has been like an umbilical cord between us and this world of illusions, this dimension of illusions. And dear ones, are you ready to detach, to disconnect, to stop feeding these fear-based programs? And return to innocence, return to the true place of safety, to the 
God spark that you are to another way of being here on earth. Experience this earthly journey. If you are dear ones, you may state yes out loud or internally. Kriyatra Shanakinur Usush. And breathe. So what I see is they are, see that they are clearing your inner column um, through your spine. It is like a um, thin needle of golden light. And just now. And for many of you, the energy is stuck in your neck. Gives you also issues around your throat and around your the whole chest area. So what it does when we have this block, it is redirecting our attention to our lower three chakras to give uh, to get information and support and support from those chakras and um, they are very uh, this is where our wounds and our experiences in this world is stored our pain our fears so they really need your willingness to move beyond so what I see right now is that this the ultimate major chakra is opening up like a go golden portal and they keep saying the mouth of God is breathing divine presence into you and just receive and breathe as this is taking place it is a breath of clearing It is the other way around, I say, as you see a newborn baby coming into this world, taking its first physical breath, that is when they really start to be in this world, to be of this world. And this is the opposite. We take our first deep breath of this God, true self, reality. And allow this to be breathed into you. It's clearing you, restoring, returning you to your zero point, undoing, undoing. Ukatran erusar yatranek yorosu. Imurnusu shukunurashan. Shitrashak yorono. So there is now. Archangel Gabriel is stepping forward making some readjustments through your vertebrae and through your whole spine tuning you fine tuning clearing 
expanding your inner passage so for some of you the fear of this world has contracted your inner channel just relax Mary Magdalene placing a hand on your between your heart and higher heart infusing with love return to love she says return to love Kindurus aitrin emerus ash ayatan iturunukus ayatra she's placing the red rose in your higher heart activating your higher heart become the love that you are timuru santar ikurushan urusutrushaya kin urushai Hear the whisper of God in Urushana Kikur, the voice of the light to silence, the voice of fear. Of pain and illusions, Sotarush, and breathe. So, what I see now is that this portal of the mouth of God is taking a deep inhale and sucking out all. The illusions, especially from your lower three chakras <clears throat> and from your mind, all the fear stuck in your in your spine from lifetimes and lifetimes of illusions of pain. Clearing. And I see how you are being washed in the golden light. And just allow this to take place. There is such strong energies. It's so... The vibrations is so high. Frequency is so high. Toru kashana. Not many words are needed. It's a fine tuning, is what they say. And it is a holy return. This is a holy moment, they say. Just as a newborn baby opened their eyes. You are awakening to another reality, or the reality, they say. Welcome. Welcome home. Dear, dear child of God, child of the divine, child of the stars. In parati kur uno turunusas, in turunuku ukuru turunusas. No, they say, no. Your true essence.
and they thank you deeply. They thank you for your willingness. They thank you for stepping up, for choosing to remember. for being a channel, a bringer of the light. And they seal this chakra in in light. So we cannot, so delusions has no power over it anymore, but they say, be very aware of where you, where you choose to participate in the illusions and where you choose to invest in them. There are some illusions you will keep investing in, become aware and choose love. So while the illusions, the world of illusions still will play out, allow it to play out by resting in a place of love, in a place of peace. and breathe and ground your ones. Thank you. <laughs>